It's a familiar story in many parts of the world. Overwhelmed by child rearing, a full time job on top of domestic chores, and many women end up so exhausted that they feel compelled to opt out of the labour market to ease the load. It's a trend which is particularly acute in many parts of Asia. Take the case of Japan. In that country, the number of women in the workforce is particularly low, especially when compared to similar countries outside the region. In Japan, labor participation rates for women are 24% lower than those for men, while in Korea, it's nearly 22% lower. In other parts of the region, the figure is lower still. But IMF research suggests that if countries want to encourage more women to stay in the labor market, they can. Policies make a difference. How do we know this? Because the countries with the most generous child rearing policies have some of the highest rates of working women. Policies such as spending on childcare, parental leave, or the removal of tax codes that penalize the income of second earners. In Sweden, for example, where there's a comprehensive parental leave system, subsidized childcare, and a strict policy of shorter working hours for women, 90% of women return to the workforce after childbirth. Contrast this with Asia, where governments tend to provide fewer such benefits. In Japan and Korea, women say that child rearing, housework, and long working hours prevent them from joining the workforce. Why does it matter if more or less women work outside the home? It matters because more working women improves gender equality. But on top of this, greater female participation in the labor market helps boost and maintain growth. As many developed countries struggle with the consequences of an aging population, they're going to have to make the best use of limited resources, and this includes their own citizens. IMF research suggests that if Japan, for example, were to raise the number of women in the workforce to a level similar to those found in other G7 countries, excluding outlier Italy, it could raise per capita GDP by approximately 5%. Making it easier for women to stay in the workforce would make it easier for Japan to remain a player in the global economy. Making it easier for Asia's women to stay in the workforce is not only good for them and good for growth, but it also makes good common sense.